Dear friends, please subscribe yo.com and press the bell button for recent updates. Thank for watching. Welcome students. So in this session we are going to study the keyboard and stepper motor interfacing with A051 microcontroller. Okay. So already we studied the keyboard interfacing in A086 and the keyboard display controller that is A079 in previous units. In unit 5 here we are going to see how to interface keyboard and stepper motor with 8051 microcontroller ok so same as the top 8086 microprocessor uh, the same concept ok but programming instruction only changed in 8051 microcontroller let us enter into session u.com First we are going to see the keyboard interfacing. So keyboard in the sense we are having the group of keys. So the keys are used to transfer some particular code assigned according to uh, some requirement. Okay. So that keys are key codes are transferred to microcontroller whenever we are pressing the key. Okay. The keys are operated in mechanical action when we press it will touch the contact when we release the hand the keys are jump to normal state okay so that is a mechanical action so here we are going to see the keyboard interfacing in a 051 microcontroller so the keyboards are organized in a matrix of rows and columns so the key is how we can uh, identify the key pressed okay how we can uh, identify the keys are released okay these are things that is identified by only by the matrix operations so the matrix is the uh, two common and one is a rows and another one is a columns so the CPU access both rows and columns through the port. Okay, so the microcontroller has the four number of port. So in that any one of the port is any one, any two of the four is used for the keyboard connection. Therefore, the two eight bit port and eight or eight matrix of keyboard can be connected to microcontroller. So we are having the 8 bit port so each uh, bit we can connect one key or one row and one column so totally 64 keys can be connected with 8051 microcontroller when key is pressed the row and column make a contact okay so actually in the key is uh, uh, just a switch so when we, whenever you are pressing the keys at the time the it will close the connection or contact okay right then it will produce some output otherwise there is no connection between row and columns whenever we are pressing the key at that time only we have a connection between rows and the columns okay the IBM PC keyboards a single microcontroller takes care of hardware and software interfacing so consider our uh, computer keyboard so in that we are uh, having a very smaller single microcontroller used so this single microcontroller organize the all the keys and it coordinate and find which keys are pressed okay then it will send the code of corresponding pressed key to microcontroller okay so it is a very smaller microcontroller it can take care of hardware and software interfacing okay a four class four matrix connected to two port consider the rows are connected to an output port and columns are connected to an input port okay 
So consider 4 plus 4 keyboard matrix. So here the rows are connected to output port and the columns are connected with input port. So uh, why you are saying this is input only one is on output means. So the, whenever you are pressing the key that uh, columns and rows are uh, making the contact. So which key is pressed that is identified by the making of contact. So that is easily uh, we can identify which keys are pressed. Okay, see the diagram. So uh, here we are used uh, two port that is a port one and port two. Port one is act as a output port in that we are using uh, D not D one D two D three and port two is a input port here we are using D not D one D two D three of port two. Okay. If all the rows are grounded, then the key is pressed. Okay, actually here uh, the rows are uh, act as a input and output. The port two is act as a input port, and port one act as a output port. Okay, if all the rows are grounded, then the key is pressed. One of the column will have zero since the key is pressed. Provide the path to ground okay you will see the next slide is the function of microcontroller is to scan the keyboard simultaneously to deduct and identify the key pressed okay so to deduct the pressed key the microcontroller ground all the rows by providing zero to output latch then it reads the columns so output port or output is providing zero or ground so the port one is act as output port this port one provide zero volt here so the all the rows are connected with zero volt then port one uh, sorry port two is act as an input port so this input port uh, get the input that is from the columns so the microcontroller always scan the keyboard simultaneously at every second to deduct and identify the key pressed okay to deduct the pressed key the microcontroller ground all the rows by providing zero to output latch then it read the columns microcontroller read the columns all the rows are connected with the ground then when we press the key at the time the columns are connected with the ground then we will find zero output then we can identify the particular key pressed if the data read from column is d0 to d3 okay that is equal to 1111 means no key has been pressed and the process continues till the key press is detected okay so no keys can has been pressed when the data is 111 when the data is become a zero at the time some particular key is pressed if one of the column bits have a zero then this means that the uh, key pressed occurred for example d0 to d3 equal uh, 1101 means here the d1 column has pressed okay so d1 column has pressed after detecting the key press the microcontroller will go through the process of identifying key so key press is easily identified um, by uh, reading the columns okay after identifying the key press the microcontroller is go through the process to identifying which key is pressed okay identifying which key is pressed okay right so how it is identifying starting with the top of the microcontroller ground it providing low in d not only it reads the columns if the data read is all once no key in the row is activated and the process moved to the next row it ground the next row uh, read the columns and check for any zero this process continues until that until the row is identified after identification of the row in which a key has been pressed find out the columns the pressed key belongs to okay right so this way they are uh, finding the key 
okay so the way using the scan operation we can find the key okay, identify the row and column pressed key for each of the following first one the d0 to d3 equal to 1110 for row uh, and d0 to d3 equal to 1011 for column okay then d3 to d0 1101 for row and d3 to d0 111 for columns then solution here it is a simple problem identify the row and columns of the following data okay so how can we find the row the row belongs to d0 and the columns belongs to d2 therefore the key number 2 was pressed okay so here which key is pressed in a first stage 1100 okay second stage so the row is row out row to this 1100 and the column is 1011 okay right so the zero indicates the key press okay right so d not to d3 is 1101 uh, for row and d not to d3 one triple one for column okay here which one is matches the row belongs to d not okay row belongs to d not and the columns belongs to d2 okay columns belongs to d2 therefore the key number two was pressed Okay, key number 2 was pressed this is way we can calculate the key next we are going to see the programming the flow chart first we start the program then crown all the rows okay if you are uh, executing the microcontroller initially it, it crown all the rows then recall all the columns when we when they check the rec uh, columns at the time all keys open okay all the keys are open means it is entered into read all columns all the keys are open means read all the columns if yes if no means read all the columns and it processes repeated again then read all columns then all keys are down down means yes means wait for deep bounds deep bounds means when we press and release deep bounds read all the columns then all keys are down yes means ground the next row ground next row if after grounding the next row all the keys are uh, all keys down means if it's mean uh, find which key is pressed get scan code from the table and return the scan to code to microprocessor so this way we can uh, write the program for keyboard interfacing so next we are going to see the stepper motor interfacing already we studied the stepper motor interfacing in 8086 microcontroller so what is stepper motor so stepper motor is a, a digital motor it, it is used to convert the electrical pulses into movement okay so this is to convert the electrical pulses into movement Stepper motor is used in applications such as disk drive, dot matrix, printer, report disk, etc. Okay, mostly uh, in our daily life, the stepper motor is in and dot matrix printer. In our college, we are having a dot matrix printer that is used. In, it is placed in a, a microprocessor lab. Okay, in that the paper movement and the and the hammer movement, everything is controlled by stepper motor. Okay. So it has a permanent magnet rotor called the shaft, which is surrounded by the stator. Okay. The commonly used stepper motor have four sector of windings. Okay. It has a permanent magnet rotor that is called as a shaft, and which is surrounded by stator. Stator is a coil. So whenever uh, we giving the voltage to the coil, it will automatically energize. The, according to the energies, the shaft will rotate. Okay, such a motor is called as four phase or unipolar stepper motor okay so your commonly used motor is four phase or unipolar stepper motor okay so this is a uh, construction of stepper motor here so here okay 
code is not available okay so here uh, this is a stepper motor uh, the stepper motor having the stator and and rotor okay the stator is a winding okay the stator is a winding uh, and rotor is a rh pair that is a permanent uh, magnet the stator is a uh, temporary magnet that means electro magnet okay it is a electro magnet so what will happen when we uh, give some external pulses uh, through the amplifier the particular uh, stator will energize according to the energies and so the rotor and the stator both are ripple each other so it moves to one step okay. so stepper motor just convert the pulses into movement pulses into movement okay it is not analog motor it is a digital motor it rotate the uh, this motor rotation is based on pulses okay right so here uh, this is a symbolic diagram this is a uh, rotor and this is this four are status and the status uh, polarity is change according to the requirement okay so this is a sender st uh, stator okay the stator is rotated according to the uh, polarity of uh, energies energies of this magnet okay right here you are having the four magnet so according to uh, some uh, table we can energize these uh, four coils okay so this will ex uh, turn the stator in any direction okay next this is a stepper motor interface circuit so 8051 microcontroller is connected with uh, stepper motor circuits so initially it is connected with the inverting buffer the buffer is is to uh, connected between high voltage and low voltage side so here the in order to save the microprocessor you are using buffer in uh, stepper motor circuits the buffer is out directly connected with the uh, pins of uh, stepper motor that is uh, a a dash b b dash okay then the same line is inverted and is given to uh, shaft okay right so this is a four way stepper motor because we are having the four different lines okay then step angle what is step angle step angle defined as the minimum degree of rotation with single step okay step angle is the minimum degree of rotation with single step that is called step angle number of steps per revolution equal to 360 degree a step angle 360 degree divided by step angle one step angle okay right uh, steps per second equal to rpm in step per revolution divided by 60 step per second okay step per second means it is equal to rpm in the step per revolution in the 60 divided by 60 okay example one small problem so step angle is 2 degree number of steps for revolution is 180 then yes so 2 degree step angle number of steps per revolution is 180 degree okay right so number of steps per second equal to rpm into uh, steps per revolution okay so this is the formulas used in uh, one mark on two mark questions consider one small program uh, a switch is connected with a pin 2.7 uh, write the program to monitor the switch if a switch equal to 0 means a motor should move in clockwise if switch is equal to 1 means move, motor is uh, loaded in anti-clockwise this is the objective so whenever the switch is plus at the time the motor will execute any one direction ok so how to write first we must check the pin that is a p uh, 2.7 the microcontroller monitor the p2.7 uh, pin at every seconds okay then whenever uh, pin is uh, found at value then that is loaded into accumulator 
then accumulator value is moved to port 1 then here uh, turn is the uh, there is a uh, one variable that is used when with this loop j n p uh, port 2.7 counter clockwise okay counter clockwise okay then similarly uh, r l a r l a means uh, right uh, logical right okay right right shift r l a okay then a call delay delay is used for between every seconds okay not at increase a second or not increase a step timing we are using the delay then move uh, port ta value uh, accumulator value into port 1 then sgm turn this process is repeat term. okay uh, if it is not satisfied it is i uh, if the switch is connected with the ground and it is rotated in counter clockwise direction okay so every uh, time we are calling the delay that is called a sub routine okay uh, the delay program is called as a subroutine program because we are calling the delay program uh, at every time as per our requirement okay right then uh, uh, we'll as move to port one then we s jump to turn okay so this is a simple uh super motor interfacing program okay, to understand the concept and then uh, here we are having some table that is used in the stepper motor okay so two phase on means uh, here you have to consider two different calls of switch on uh, a and a initially switch on then uh, a b switch on here another one table is a single coil one phase on that is a single coil on so uh, this is a uh, both are somewhat different if the number of coils are energized uh, more then we can uh, rotate the motor in a very micro level okay very small moments okay right uh, actually uh, by this slide we are conclude that uh, the keyboard interface and the stepper motor interface is already studied so this uh, keyboard interface and stepper motor interface is a very important question many times it is asked in university examination okay right so students thanks for watching uh, please study well thank you